Other news now, several major local stories happening right now. The first just days after letting the prime suspect go, a federal agency now offers a reward looking for new information in its investigation into a deadly fire that killed the Schenectady family. Matt Markham is live from where that house once stood on Hewlett Street, where the victim's family and the community are holding a vigil and calling for justice tonight. Hi, Matt. Hi, Greg, and really just within the last five minutes, many more people have come to the site where this home used to be. It has now turned into a place of prayer and a call for justice by family members, relatives, friends of this family who are particularly upset after just a few days of a man who was taken into uh, custody and, and asked if he was uh, related to this uh, was set free basically and now these people want some answers into what could possibly happen. They think a reward may help. But at this point, they're just trying to come together and uh, answer whatever questions they can together. Justice, you know, for the family, that's what this is for, justice. We want justice to be served. How is that possible? I don't understand. Many in this community can't either. After the initial suspect, Robert Butler, walked free, David Terry was killed in this fire, and so were three children, Michael and Layla and Donovan Duell. Sapphire lived, but will struggle with injuries she suffered from the house fire forever. Now the investigation could point to someone other than Butler for setting that fire. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms is offering a $12,000 reward for information and the arrest and conviction of those responsible. Well, they should be very looking at it as a guilty stage. I mean, I know their heart is like really upside down, so yeah, I, they should turn their self in. That's what I think. Investigators believe someone threw gasoline on the stairs leading to the upstairs apartment and lit a match. In a statement, the ATF called the act of setting the fire senseless and horrific. The special agent in charge said, quote, we are asking the public to provide any information that would lead investigators to those responsible for this heinous act of violence. The victims deserve nothing less. The kids were, you know, well-loved, very good little kids and very respectful. Do you think a reward will actually get somebody to come forward? I hope so. I don't know. Um, I'm definitely going to pray on that somebody does come forward and give whatever information they can. These kids des deserve it. It's hurting all of us, really. All of us. I was speaking with Sapphire's uncle just about 10 minutes ago who told me that she's still in the hospital. They don't know when she's going to be out, but at least she's getting stronger every day. Uh, you'll hear from some more of those relatives coming up when I see you again at 11 o'clock. For now in Schenectady, Matt Markham, CBS 6 News.